What's going on everybody? My name is Jay Ray. I'd like to welcome you to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about upgrades that you can do to a non-ducted RV air conditioner unit. Mine is specifically a Dometic unit, but you may have the same issue with your RV air conditioner. If you do, hopefully this video can help you out. Here in my RV in the bedroom area of it, it's got this air conditioner unit that just blows straight down. I've already pulled the cover off, but I was looking at this trying to figure out why it didn't seem to cool very well. But if you can look up inside there, right there, that's the area where the cold air blows out. And over here is where it is the return but there's nothing in between there there's no kind of baffling or anything to separate the hot and cold air coming down so i'm gonna have to do some work on this and uh, build some kind of baffle so the cold air and the hot air will stay separated so i'm gonna take this metal plate down and see if i can uh, create some baffling inside there to make the air flow much better on this unit so this is pretty disappointing when i pulled this down there was a little bit of tape up inside here just Kind of falling off of this and uh, end up just taking it all down but you can see it's open up to the ceiling there and i'm gonna try to see if i can cut some foam boards to fit in there and cover these holes up and also just go around the side here insulate it a little bit better and then i'll build a baffle in the middle as well that way i can keep the cold air separate from the return air this is what I came up with uh, for my design here that I'm going to use to try to redirect this airflow. That's the return duct right there. And this is the duct that blows down into the room. I tried to make it to where the air would come down directly as much as possible into this baffle right here. I'm probably going to see if I can cut this tab out as well because I don't see that it serves any purpose in this situation. So I'm going to go ahead and get this plate screwed back up there. And then see if I can get some tin snips and cut that little tab out that's right here in the middle. I got the plate back on and I cut off the tab that was right here in the middle. It was blocking a pretty considerable amount of airflow. So now you can see it's wide open from the top to the bottom. Got all the reflective tape in there that uh, settled up. That's an aluminum HVAC tape. And I think this is going to work a lot better. I'm going to put the cover back on and we'll see what it sounds like. I got the filter off right now because it was pretty dirty, but I can tell already this airflow is much better and it's cooling off the room way faster than it ever did before. So you really need to get that separation between the return duct and the cold air side that's blowing down into the room, or else your air conditioner won't be very efficient. So hopefully this helps somebody and maybe you can make your air conditioner a little bit more efficient on your RV. So I understand that an RV manufacturer is trying to produce as many units as they can to keep their business profitable so that they can make money and keep producing more units and also to make the consumer happy that there are products that we can purchase. Unfortunately, sometimes things just slip past quality control or some of the checks aren't fully done on units. Um, they might think that they have done something and they just missed it. So I do recommend that everybody at least check their RV air conditioners Try to make sure that they're as efficient as possible by making sure that there's a baffle between the cold air side and the return air side. This will greatly help you out and hopefully it'll make your RV experience a lot more enjoyable. Well, that's all I've got for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on future content from my channel.